In previous videos, we discussed nominal attributes and binary attributes. So if you didn't watch my previous videos, the link will be in the description below. Please watch my previous videos. In this video, we will discuss ordinal attribute. So what is ordinal attributes? The ordinal attributes contains values that have a meaningful sequence or ranking. Ranking or sequence. For example, um, uh, we have um, like grading, we have excellent good fair or poor something like that so so now you can see this is in sequence or ranking so how we solve ordinal attributes so we have three steps first step is we will count states for example we have excellent good fair and poor in this situation we have four states uh, if I add one more five that is uh, good so that means in this situation we have one two three four we will not count good because i already count good so uh, we have four states that is our mf mf is four and in second step we will replace these values in ranking replace in ranking let's suppose i said excellent is four good is three fair is two and poor is one good is already three so the third step is we will normalize this rank how we will normalize this rank normalize ranking we will use formula for normalizing r minus 1 divided by its r f mf minus 1 so what is mf mf is 4 how many states we have and rf is ranking okay so let's normalize these states for excellent we have four so rf is four minus one is constant divided by mf is four because we have four states excellent good fair and poor four minus one one is constant so four minus one three divided by three equals to one the next is good rf is for good three minus one is constant mf still four minus 1 3 minus 1 2 divided by 3 2 divided by 3 it's supposed to be uh, 0 0.6 something uh, for for third one is fair 
so for here we have 2 minus 1 divided by 4 is mf minus 1 equals to 1 divided by 3 answer will be 0 0.33 the last is poor rf is 1 minus 1 divided by mf is 4 minus 1 equals to 0 divided by 3 answer will be 0 so now we normalize the ranking using this formula we have to find out difference between these values so we will use Manhattan distance formula the formula is d of x y equals to x minus y Let's see an example of ordinal attribute. I will use same example. One, sorry, ID. Let's say grade. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Excellent. Good. Fair and good. Okay. So, you, we have three steps. First is count states so how many states we have excellent one two and three good is repeating so we will not count this so how many states we have this is mf mf is equal to three the second step is we will replace rank into sorry we will replace in ranking like excellent is equal to 3 good is equal to 2 fair is equal to 1 third step is we will normalize ranking For normalized ranking, we will use formula equals to R F minus one divided by M F minus one. R F is ranking. M F is state count of states. So first for excellent. rf for excellent is 3 minus 1 is constant divided by mf count of state is 3 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 for good rf is 2 minus 1 mf count of state 3 minus 1 1 divided by 2 answer will be 0 0.05 last is fair is equal to for fair we have rank frequency 1 minus 1 divided by mf3 3, 3 minus 1 0 divided by 2 equals to zero now we have to uh, make the distance matrix so we will use 
Manhattan distance formula. Example, we have it ID one, two, three, and four. So now I am changing, I'm writing excellent is one, good is point five, fair is zero, and the last good is equal to point five. So we have to create matrix. We have four objects, one, two, three, and four. So I will create four by four data matrix. Diagonal always will be zero. So we have to find out the difference between one and two. So uh, one is one. So one and two. One is one minus two is zero point five. Answer will be zero point five. So now we have to find out distance between 1 and 3. 1, 3. 1 is 1 and 3 is 0. Answer will be 1. So 1 and 3 will be 1. Next is uh, 1 and 4. 1 and 4. So for 1 is 1, 4 is 0 0.5, answer will be 0 0.5. Now we have to find out difference between 2 and 3. For 2 we have 0 0.5, sorry, 0 0.5 minus for 3 we have 0, answer will be 0 0.5. Next is difference between 2 and 4. For 2 we have 0 0.5, minus for 4 we have 0 0.5, answer will be 0. And the last is 3 and 4 difference between 3 and 4 for 3 we have 0 minus for 4 we have 0 0.5 answer will be 0 0.5 so now that was a manhattan distance formula in next video we will see numerical attribute Thank you for watching. See you in next video.